Today we're going to do a 10 minute calisthenics core strength workout that you can do as a follow along with me with no equipment. For this workout we're going to do 5 exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for 2 rounds and we're going to start off with a hollow hold. So if you lie on your back on the mat, you could also do a half hollow hold if you find it easier. You tuck into a ball and then open out into your hollow. I want your lower back in good contact with the floor. Your head and shoulders are slightly off the mat. You're bracing your core, holding this shallow position. If you're struggling to keep your lower back flat to the floor, try bringing one knee into the chest for a half hollow. We're going to flip onto our front now, we're going to do the opposite, we're going to do some superman raises and we're going to hold for about three seconds for each one. Great job. Next, we're gonna do some seated pike lifts. If you struggle with the double leg, you can go for some alternating legs instead. So I want you to point your toes, reach your fingertips forwards, sitting upright with some length to the spine. We're gonna try and lift your legs off the floor. So lifting off and back down. Lifting off and back down. If you're struggling to get your feet off the floor, Try just alternating your legs one at a time. We're trying to minimize any movement of the torso. So a common mistake would be to rock backwards, but we're trying to compress that center space rather than just leaning back. Great job. Next up, we're gonna lie on our back. We're gonna do a dead bug. So you're gonna bring your knees up to 90 degrees, arms up straight. Keep your head on the floor for this one. Drop opposites down, bring it back to the center, and then drop the other two. Similar to the hollow hold, we're trying to brace your core keeping your lower back nice and flat during the whole of the 40 second interval. Next up, we're gonna do some lateral movement. So if you put your hands out to the side, we're gonna do some wipers, and you can do them with straight legs or with 90 degree legs. The straight legs is gonna be harder, but if you're short on space, the 90 degree angle might be better also. So we're dropping side to side, and you wanna try and keep the opposite shoulder blade on the floor the whole time. So that might mean not dropping as far down. I'm trying to keep my legs as vertical as possible. If you've got relatively restricted hamstrings like me, you might want to put a slight bend in the knee, but try and keep a relatively vertical leg position. 
or if you're struggling, just opt for that 90 degree knee angle. Great job, there's round one done. We're gonna go straight into this next round. So you're back to that hollow hold. If you can do the full hollow, great, but sometimes that half hollow might be a better option. Or you could even do a little bit of both, starting in the full hollow hold. And then as you fatigue, if you feel your lower back is lifting, opt for that half hollow, bring in one knee to the chest. If you're still struggling in this position, then take your hands, reach them down past your pockets like this. It's a slight easier progression. And if you're still struggling, you can bring both knees in like this for a beginner hollow hold. Hopefully you found an option that suited you there. We're gonna slip onto the front for those Superman raises. And this is the one I find most challenging personally. I'm gonna go for those three second holds, trying to get your quads and your chest off the mat each time. into those seated compressions, whether you're opting for the double leg or the alternating single leg. Remember, we're trying to avoid rocking backwards as we lift. really challenging one into that dead bug position so head and stay on the floor for the dead bug opposites dropping down keeping that braced core position avoiding any overarch of the lower back off the mat Onto our last exercise of the workout. We're gonna do those wipers, whether you're doing straight leg, bent leg, or even a mix of the two. Make sure you're keeping that opposite shoulder into the floor as you drop down.
And that's it. That's the routine complete. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below how did you find it and where in the world you're following along from. If you fancy keeping the workout going, I'll link a quick video here. And I'll see you again soon for another one.